Hi, this is CF Liu, Independent Licensed Financial Advisor in Malaysia. I'm here to show you, to guide you how to claim to maximize your personal income tax relief in Malaysia while still staying as a responsible tax payer according to the guidelines set by the Maga Hasil Dalam Negeri or the Inland Revenue Board. It's just tax relief to maximize for every one of you it's so common whether you're married and maybe male female lifestyle personal income tax relief in Malaysia number one when you say lifestyle there's a lot of subcategory under this first thing is you can buy a handphone as easy as that but it's not only a um, handphone you know you can actually buy a computer you can also buy a tablet and uh, this tax relief uh, used to be like 3,000 a year you can claim like once every three years but I think in some in 2018 they have changed it uh, to include more things either it's iPad Samsung tablet whatever just keep the receipts and all that or buy a smartphone that gives you a reason to you know change to a new phone every year which is you know this one of the happiest tax relief uh, to actually claim and file um, according to Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negeri it seems like uh, something like a hybrid computer, a hybrid PC or hybrid tablet does not fall under this uh, definition that is eligible for you to claim this Malaysian income tax relief. For example, your Microsoft Surface or something uh, like a computer seems like an iPad but it comes with a keyboard. So that falls into a gray area, right? Now, I'm not sure why they call this hybrid computer is not defined. They might improve that in the future or by the way you see it, it might have been improved. I think if you buy an iPad, because an iPad does not, it's not a hybrid computer, it's a tablet, right? But then if you were to buy a separate keyboard to be used together, I think that is okay. But you do not claim, you don't want to claim the expenses, um, the receipt, right? The payment you make for the keyboard itself. You just buy a, you know, small cheap keyboard. So if you something like hybrid computer, but on the whole package itself, it cannot be a hybrid computer like Microsoft Surface that's totally out. I'm not, don't complain to me, like, don't ask me why. I mean, you could and leave your comments below, click on the like, you know, and perhaps subscribe. But the thing is, if you really have feedback on this, you are really dissatisfied because you already buy this, uh, you know, hybrid computer, just, and you realize by the time you see this, watch this lesson, you say, oh, you know, I have wasted this tax relief, right? This personal income tax relief. Um, just, uh, you know, there's a link I, I, I put inside the description below that will enable you to send a, a further question or even what we call maklum bala, balas or feedback to Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negeri. And actually, actually, they actually uh, reply quite efficiently, give them a few working days, right? Uh, like I say, very good reason for you to change your 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 the smartphone to handphone every year but you know that if you buy at the top of the range handphone then chances are you know it's easily maximizable for this uh, personal income tax relief because under this same uh, category you can also add claim for what it calls a monthly internet subscription now if you subscribe to something like 100 ringgit a month then easily you could actually uh, uh, maxim have a tax relief under the same category it's not separate uh, of a thousand two okay one, one like 100 per month then times 12 you have thousand two so if this tax relief is only kept at you know 2005 per year uh, then basically you only have about a thousand three more to buy a brand new handphone if you buy a top of the range handphone it costs you like iPhone like 5,000 then I mean it's not really an efficient use of your money but again I guess that if you are stuck in the Apple iOS ecosystem it's very hard for you to change to another handphone that's normally priced cheaper like the Android kind of uh, uh, family of handphone now the other thing about this personal income tax relief in Malaysia is that uh, you can also claim uh, for this tax relief under this lifestyle category when you buy books when you buy magazine journals newspaper and you know ebook as well as long as you keep uh, the receipt I've claimed this uh, multiple uh, multiple times the only thing that cannot be claimed is what they can say a banned material uh, banned material which means that books that are banned like for example this right I mean books that are banned the other thing that you have to understand when it comes to lifestyle tax relief under the same we are still talking about the same category so so it's not everything you can claim the amounts are limited you if you are not careful you can ex easily maximize this personal personal income tax relief in Malaysia um, it's what we call as a purchase of sports equipment for any sports any sports right sports equipment for any sports as defined under the law which is called the sports development act 1997 
Now, here's the caveat. They say every spot, right? No limitation on the what the spots, but the spot must be defined under the act. However, not every spots related equipment or, or usage is eligible. Now there are some caveats to this. Now just because I want to keep this uh, lesson just compact and short, so if you really want to know more, just comments below, and uh, you know myself will actually you know uh, reply to your comment. So you say that oh, so what are the spot equipment that I cannot claim? I have this, 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 you know, clothes and all that. Can I claim or not? So you know just uh, comments below and uh, I would probably be able to help you um, this especially for you you say I'm a jogger right I, I, I go jogging and you know I go like swimming so there are really not that uh, many or that's uh, equipment that you, you, you it come to mind right because unlike like badminton and all that uh, the other thing that actually also included under here and it's related to this part equipment is a gym membership gym membership you go to gym bodybuilding all that now apparently that's uh, claimable you can claim this personal income tax relief um, I think the government always want us to live longer and be of course be healthier uh, which um, there's also an, another tax relief which uh, which is which is not the common thing which is what I call as a medical check medical full medical check which is for 500 per, per, per year that you can claim but for me um, I think when it comes to health uh, there's one thing that I did uh, just a personal sharing that I did that is even I think more useful or uh, uh, more long term than your know, annual health check and that is what I call a DNA test is I think it's like the ultra supercharged version of a health check now if you really want to know like how I did my DNA test to you know uh, know what are the right exercise for me what are the right type diet kind of diet for me and also like what are the result of my DNA test am I based on my genetic am I prone to any kind of illness like those critical illness or not or not based on DNA you know that like heart attack and cancer sometimes it runs it's hereditary right it runs in the family so a DNA test will be able to tell you that but unfortunately I think the tax relief does not cover a DNA test is something that is claimable under personal income tax relief in Malaysia however I hope it um, it will be it will be right now that being said I think uh, this like I said is easiest for you, to, uh, for you to claim this old tax relief so don't miss this out don't miss that it's very very easy and chances are by the time you watch this video you think that what you have bought for the past few months it's probably easy peasy you already qualify for this so don't forget to actually keep your receipt and actually file that the following year so that you can get more tax refund from Labuka Hasil or you end up paying less personal income tax now everything of this what I talk about is still under the same under the same category so you have to budget well and not you know exceed that because exceed that you can't really claim more if you really like this lesson you find this valuable please click on the like just smash on the like button and um, subscribe if um, you think this uh, you have enjoyed this lesson uh, proceed to the next in Malaysian income tax relief lessons uh, after this video just click on that or if um, you investing is your thing as always um, I actually have something of lesson uh, another lesson which is one of the most popular lesson uh, videos over here for many years uh, in my channel uh, that is uh, investment we talk about investment in Malaysia or anywhere in the world and asset class that gives you the best consistent dividend and at the return rate every year that can actually match or even you know slightly better than EPF very consistent very safe does not require constant monitoring like stocks trading and all that does not require a lot of effort and all the, all the hassle or the huge capital for you to actually do to traditional property invest uh, investing it is actually property co-related now they will definitely want to check out what are the best the investors that pay the best dividend in Brusa Malaysia and anywhere in the world so don't miss out that lesson um, um, it's one of our most popular uh, video lessons over here in this channel so that being said I'm CF Liu um, independent licensed financial advisor and I'll just proceed to the next uh, lesson whichever that actually um, you find interest interested about and of course this Malaysian personal income tax relief lesson because there's more coming after this